Hello everybody. One question for you. Um, have you worked with GraphQL uh, until now? Um, if you do, thumbs up. Uh, if you didn't, thumbs up again. Um, I don't have that much experience at the moment and I was trying to see, okay, how can I test this uh, GraphQLs? Uh, and is there a way to test this in Cypress to be more exact because I like Cypress and I want to use it as much as possible and I went to the Cypress um, documentation and there's a whole part on working with GraphQLs um, but after reading this I still was a little bit confused since as I said I have not that much experience uh, working with GraphQL uh, up until now and I try to do or um, what well, I didn't try, I want to try the following, and that is to ask ChatGPT how uh, I should write a code to test um, this API right here. So let's just do it together. So I just wrote in ChatGPT, I want some Cypress code to perform a GraphQL request for that specific um, API. And let's see. So. Here's the example. Okay, so far so good. So I need to do a post request, of course, since it's GraphQL. And let's see. Or it have property data. So I can replace the variables. Okay, with one you want to make it. Okay, so let it access token. Okay, so let's see if I copy this code right here, so from right here and go into my Cypress test. So I have it here and let's just save it. I have already Cypress um, waiting for me to run it. So let's just run it and see if what the um, chat GPT wrote there is actually passing and it seems to pass okay perfect so that kind of answers my question so you can do api testing or better said you can test graphql requests using cypress now for the first part i can try and understand what ChatGPT provided to me but i will spend a little bit more time understanding working with GraphQL APIs from the actual documentation. Thank you for watching the video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye-bye.